In this lesson, we will see how SSAD works. As discussed earlier, SSAD is used to add an object in the existing selection set. It requires the object's entity name to be added. Let's explore SSAD in more detail. Let's initialize our selection set. Let's say SS. So if we list our selection set is zero. It's basically an empty container. So now let's start adding entities inside our selection set. Let's say E1, we will use the car and cell. Select object to be added into the selection set. Let's say we select the circle. So now we have the E1 here. And now we can add that into our selection set. S add the entity name, which is E1, and then the selection set. So if we list now the value of our SS, we have 1, which is a circle. Now we can add another one. Let's say E2, car of end cell. Select another. Let's say the text. We have here the entity name. Then we can add that one into the set QSS, into the selection set. E2, SS. If we list now the selection set, we have two objects. One text and one circle. We can even just keep adding, let's say, set QSS, S is add, instead of uh, storing the entity name into a separate variable, we can just call directly the car of end cell, then put it into our selection set. So here we are basically getting the entity name, and then we are adding it into the selection set. Let's so say we add this line. If we list now our SS, we now have three. And we can just repeat doing it. Let's say now we have, we should have four. Yep. We can even add a an object from an existing selection set. Let's say we let's create one more selection set let's say ss2 and let's get some objects let's say we have this one in the dimension so our ss2 sorry this ss2 we have two objects so let's say I would like to add the, the dimension into our original selection set, which we have here, the SS, right? We have here the SS. We have four. One, two, three, four. Now let's add the dimension. So we can do this by SS add. Then we need to get the name of the selection, the object from the selection set. So S is name. Our selection set is uh, SS2. Then the index. Let's say we get the, the one. That's, that's the second object in the selection set. Then add that one into our SS. So if we now check our SS, we now have five. The original four plus the dimension. Okay. This is the dimension. So that's just about SSAD function. You can add objects in the existing selection set in many different ways. 
give it a try and see how it goes. In the next lesson, we will explore SSDEL function. I'll see you in the next video.